back, WNST and Baltimore Positive. We are positively in Ocean City, Maryland. We're at the Harrison's Harbor Watch at the Inlet. I've got my Coons Ford Giant Bronco down there. I fed the meter. And uh, I've got old friends and new friends. And, and when I was younger, I didn't make friends with Steeler fans. Now... <laughs> I figure we're all in this together, yep, you know, yep. we're, we're, we're at least in football season. So uh, next year we'll try to put the whole team together. Uh, Jeb Vitok is here. He's the general manager of Harrison's and a longtime friend, but first time on my radio show yes, sir. ever, Lachelle, and I'm going to call you Beasley because like, is that okay to do that? It's perfect. Of Dundalk, Maryland, and uh, I won't, I told 80s stories about coming down here. We don't want any 80s stories from Dundalk circulating, right? <laughs> Nothing off the Elvale Avenue, right? <laughs> Let's just say that you and I are together for a few days in Ocean City, and we're a lot older. But, um, you know, we have a lot, lot of access now to some really great things. Well, I told you I was coming down here for crab cakes, and you and I have been friends for so long. How did I not know that you're sort of, like, involved in things down here with the Chamber of Commerce? This is, yeah. this is uh, you've been quite a journey for you, but running Ocean City and me reaching out to you this summer to do this thing – uh, this has been, I, I called it serendipity when I got in the car with my wife yesterday. I said, this whole thing, things are falling into place. And I think it began when I reached to you and said, I want to go down the ocean. I want to eat crab cakes. Isn't it true? And so, you know, life comes full circle, right? It does. As they say. And my journey, uh, as some may be, led me, you know, I was self-employed for a number of years. And ultimately, you know, a little over a year ago, uh, just led me to the eastern shore here of Maryland after a change in some of my life's activities. And uh, I accepted a role as the executive director of the Great Ocean City Chamber of Commerce, a tremendously uh, active uh, and long-standing chamber here in the state of Maryland, and who else wouldn't want to be the director of the Ocean City Chamber, huh? Well, we all know Dundalk is the key west of the north, yeah. so you've just <laughs> yeah. moved that here uh, to the inlet. Uh, uh, you, Jeb, you brought this crab cake out, mm -hmm. and when I said I'm come, come down and broadcast, and I wanted to find some local places with great legendary mm -hmm. crab cakes, but also places I've never been. Mm -hmm. Now, I am going to wind up going to Thrasher's and getting some fries, because I just do it, uh, they should still serve ketchup. It's my. It's just a. It's a thing Ooh. I have. But I know. I know. I know. It's. It's like putting cocktail sauce on a crab yeah. cake, right? Yeah. You don't serve it with cocktail yeah. sauce, right? No, we don't. But to each their own. To each their own. But ketchup. I think you're not not going to make a lot of fans in Ocean City yeah. if you say ketchup at Thrasher's. <laughs> Carried in your pocket. I always did. Yeah. Right. I. You know. I mean. I. Mm -hmm. just, but. But. This place has been such a part of my life, part yeah. of your life. Yeah. I, I found my Scopies from the summer of '88. Uh, my son's mm -hmm. like, hey, you're in pretty good shape. I'm like, yeah, I was yeah, in pretty right. good shape. Um, all the years of coming down here, and I, I love it. And, and when I mm -hmm. make that left-hand turn, when I come mm -hmm. across the Asshole Woman Bay, and I make the left, and I see the liquor store, I'm like, <sighs> and all this comes flooding back. Uh, you live down here now. I'm putting this thing together, yeah. and the Marlin Open, all these people. There's a perception that, like, not a lot of people are coming to the beach. I'm looking out here and saying – place is packed right now yeah. and I don't know if it's been like that all summer long we get news back and it's only the bad news we don't get the good mm -hmm. news right it looks as clean as I've seen it as vibrant I, I drove up to 35th street this morning and turned around and came back down everybody's yelling at me because Dennis gave me this v look at that blue look at that blue I, truck I everybody keeps looking at it <laughs> I see it it's crazy people are like <laughs> circling and I'm like yeah, I gotta um Ocean City looks as great as it's ever looked yeah, you know, so I'm going to give you the real news is what I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you that the visitor traffic to Ocean City uh, in these recent months is higher than it's ever been in the history of Ocean City. Uh, now, you the, know that when they come across the bridge, right? It's a fact. We count this them is, when We they count come. them. So this yeah. is a fact. Um, I'm going to tell you that the revenue generation, despite being at record lows of workforce engagement here, um, the revenue generation has been strong and consistent. And, and what we're coming to discover is that many people like you and I have those memories, and they want to bring their next generation here. They want to bring their friends and family here. My wife's and, sick of it because when she comes down with me, I'm like, that's where I stayed. Yeah, that's correct, where, right? This is where we did that. She's yeah. like, all right, man, I'm done with this. Let's go make <laughs> some new memories. So I brought her down for sticks two years ago. And yet, nice. worth <laughs> noting is we are within drive time to most of the East Coast major metropolitan centers. And so they get in their car now. They're not traveling they by even air. They from Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. They One a tremendous of amount of start? them. Did you, when you were eight <laughs> years old, did you come down here? Um, I think I was 12 when I came down the first time with my parents, but I moved here in college and mm -hmm probably did the same thing I'm going to be honest with you, and, and my wife knows this. 
I talked to every girl on the boardwalk in 87, 88, 89. There was nobody from Pittsburgh, ever. I don't know. And I came down late 90s. We had a lot of college kids from Pitt, Johnstown, IUP, Duquesne. I started to see that. In the 90s, Mm -hmm. like it really – and was that a marketing thing? Was that the Chamber of Commerce spending a bunch of money on KDKA and, and, you know, literally? I mean, because – Pitts, it really did change, and mm-hmm. now it, this mm-hmm. is Pittsburgh's beach. It is, right? Um, it's a good mix. I mean, it's, it's Maryland. But if you're from Pittsburgh, okay. when you say, I'm going to the ocean, there's a good chance it's Ocean City, It's Maryland. Ocean City, yeah. West and we welcome them. Yeah. It's, yeah. Not, yeah. Right. That. it's here. Mm-hmm. We welcome them, and I mean that. Our business community welcomes them. Everyone here welcomes them to come. Ultimately, it translates into the experience that you're having here today. doesn't change them losing two times in a fall. No. <laughs> we can remind them. <laughs> <laughs> Lachelle <laughs> Beasley Scarlato is here uh, from the Chamber of Commerce, and we're, we're broadcasting down here for the, the 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 Marlin brings a whole different thing here, right, Jeb? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You you feel that this week, right? Yeah, this is typically one of our busiest weeks. You look at the view we have here with all these windows, and and most every boat has to come right past this restaurant. So four thirty to six o'clock today, I will have everyone screaming they want a table right on the window. Um, and we'll well, I said, do, where should I be today? Right, this is it. You and know. I, I'm literally, I wish we weren't so backlit because we're back here, but. The water's right. It's just, this might be the nicest live broadcast I've ever had from, from, a, from a view standpoint. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's a great view. Um, I like to say I get the best office on the East Coast. And when you see all the boats come through here and you get to go to 14th Street to see the weigh-ins, you know, every boat has to come by here. They fly the flags. You get to kind of see who's caught what on the way into the Can you scales. get sunburn in here? Because, no. I mean, there's a lot of sun in here right now. No, no, I don't think so. You couldn't get more glass, though. No, not Where at all. Where was this structure built? Because it's uh, – when – we said we're going to broadcast this way. I said the depth of this room, this looks like an Eastern Shore room. I mean, this looks, it looks like there was a lot of thought put into this. There was. It was built in 1984, um, and the Harrison family has been happily operating the Harbor Watch here ever since. Well, thanks yeah. for having us, for sure. sure. Big blue crab up there. we got Marlon over here. Uh, I'm going to hold on to yep. you, and we're, we're going to bring in Ashley. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We're down in Ocean City. Uh, Luke is still in Owings Mills. We're still doing some Raven stuff, but I'm eating a crab cake every day. And I ate the crab cake with Mayor Meehan in mm-hmm. the last segment, so I haven't touched this one because I'm trying to leave it to where it is. But um, You'll go in for seconds. Well, I, you know, I know we've talked a little bit about this, but one of the reasons I'm doing this is the availability of Maryland crab, mm-hmm. right? And we've talked a lot in Baltimore. And, and listen, me saying I'm doing this, people were like, we're not going to talk about Asian crab or North Carolina or Texas. And I said, well, the, the, the Maryland part of this mm-hmm. is so important because all these boats that come here, all the yep. boaters that are out on the bay every mm-hmm. day making this happen yep. – the process to make this happen is not easy. And, I, and that's a story I'm going to tell. And I know it's been a story for businesses with the cost of crab meat for anybody. Mm-hmm. But but th- this should be our thing, right? This is what we're known for. It should be our thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's been scarce this year. It's been a tough market. You see a lot of restaurants, ours included, that have scaled down how many crab items we have on our menu. So we're kind of focusing it on the crab dips, the crab cakes, crab soups, and other things had to go by the wayside. And it's some days we can't get it. Um, you know, it is it is a problem. Well, but you got it today. We got it today, and, <laughs> and we, we have it most days. But, we you know, we're, we're kind of spoiled down here with some fresh local seafood out of the harbor in West right Ocean there. City right there. right there. Scallop guys, oysters, clams, swordfish, you know, mahi-mahi. So a lot of fish out of West Ocean City every day. Well, all I've ever done has been in business with local mm-hmm. people. I mean, mm-hmm. Costas and Fadley's been me. I ate crabs at the barn 25 years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and... and Learning. I mean, I just ate them. I'm from Dundalk. Like I said, we'd fry them up. And, mm-hmm. and, and now when it becomes a little bit more of a scarce item, we're talking about the, the, the marsh areas, the, the, the oyster recovery, all mm-hmm. of those things that I don't think people really understand. And all they understand is, oh, the price of crabs went up. Or, you know, and, okay, let's go, let's go find out why. And, right. and, and I know that mm-hmm. I want to tie that to you a little mm-hmm. bit in the next segment, yeah. too, about workers and mm-hmm. people and people that want to go out on the bay and people to pick the crabs and then people to work in your kitchen and make it so delicious. Right. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to put any cocktail, but I may do a little J.O. because that's J.O. on top, right? That is J.O., yes. God, it's got that a little, just a, t- a little bit of salt. Yep. I'm a J.O. fan. Not, not knocking Old Bay. It's good. It's I'm becoming a J.O. fan yeah, here, too. Like I'm J-O. two for two on J.O. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to come back for more. We're at Harrison's. We're in the inlet. It's the Harbor Watch, and it is a beautiful – Dolphins? Yes, dolphins. Yes. Dolphins? We get dolphins yeah. out here every day? Right uh, I don't have the schedule for the next showing, but uh, they do come through quite <laughs> a bit. But you sit here and see them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. And if you're lucky, you see the horses at Assateek Island right as well. Right there. Yep. Can't do that in Dundalk or Towson or Woodlawn. I'm Nestor. We're back for more in uh, Ocean City on the Great Crab Cake Tour. Follow along at Crab Cake Tour. That's our hashtag. And, of course, everything we do at WNST and Baltimore Positive. Back for more from the beach right after this.